Schools are opening earlier than the bar at a Jimmy Buffett tribute concert, despite science pushing back harder than a trailer park screen door in a hurricane. So, why aren't we listening? I'm Devin Siebold. This is The State of Teaching. In the U.S., the average start time for schools is 8 a.m. 9 a.m. if you're one of my old students and you pass by a McDonald's, apparently. Literally, every piece of science says that is too early. But we continue to do it anyways. It's like if Apollo 13 said, Houston, we have a problem, and Mission Control said, do you? Really? Yes, we do. And the stats couldn't be more obvious. The earliest start time average in the nation is Louisiana at 7.30 a.m. Ew. Louisiana is ranked 46th in the nation for education. In Minnesota, they begin at 8.21 with one of the latest start times and are ranked 5th in education. So maybe it's the start time, but maybe Bobby Boucher is just driving down the averages. However, all the experts agree that time has something major to do with it. The American Pediatric Association, the CDC, the American Psychological Association, they've all advocated for 8.30 a.m. start time minimum. They cite numerous studies that show the benefits of starting later. Increase in GPA, test scores, attendance, students all reporting feeling less sleepy. So, as it turns out, unlike your girlfriend in college, being late is a good thing. Not everyone will get that joke. I'm okay with that. Critics have argued that starting later would just entitle students to stay up later. Well, yes, and that's good. Science shows that as students enter their teen years, their circadian rhythm naturally shifts to a later bedtime and a later rise time. And if you have teen boys, apparently less frequent shower and deodorant time, it's nature. Yet, we maintain elementary start times later and high school start times earlier. We are pushing against science harder than John Hammond in Jurassic Park. In one study, a high school moved to an earlier start time from 8.05 a.m. to 7.25 a.m. and found students being 8% more likely not to advance to the 12th grade on schedule. The students averaged one additional absence per year and just over three additional tardy arrivals per year. I guess when your kid says five more minutes, they, they may be telling you the truth. Districts that push against later times argue, what about the school buses and the families? Well, what about them? Parents interviewed said that the switch allowed them for less stress in the morning and more time to get ready. Nowadays, it takes 10 minutes alone to fill up your Stanley Cup in the fridge, come on! And as for transportation, it's safer across the board. Later start times saw a decrease in student accidents, and any quick Google search of a bus stop incident will show you that many of them are happening in the dark early morning hours with a sharp spike in bus stop injuries during the time change when many students are left out to wait in the road in the pitch black. And lastly, the teachers. One such district that changed the start times to later found help with their teacher shortage. Teachers can take care of themselves and their families in the morning. Administrators have more time to replace staffers who call out sick and the extra half an hour can be used to silently sit in your car and consider moving to Mexico while assuming a new identity. Maybe that was just me. Bottom line, let's get the schools on the same natural schedule as the kids. Then maybe their academics will increase and McDonald's will bring back all day breakfast and we can finally get the proper ending for The Last Jedi and the world will be right again. I'm Devin Siebold. This has been the State of Teaching.